everybody, Dave Weiss here for the Glue Bomb Show. Well, today I'm going to review this kit for you. Again, some will say, is that really a model? I don't know. Here's what I know. I had fun building it. This is from ROKR or Rocker. I'm not sure which it is. I'd call it Rocker if it was my company. And uh, it's in the mechanical music box. They call it Starry Night. And uh, it really is a nice kit. It came together easily. It went together really nicely. The fit was pretty much perfect on everything. I had very little difficulty, and the few difficulties I had were things where I didn't quite read the instructions thoroughly enough. So I'm going to give you a little bit of that today. But first of all, let's look at the finished product, and here it is. Now, this came together like a dream. It really did. This thing went together quickly. You see all these little pieces iron here on the corners? Uh, those are flexible pieces that they use by slitting the wood in different in different directions so that it will turn and bend. And I think if you recall, the last time I built one of these was the race car. And the race car, I had some problems with breaking those. Well, this, as usual, I should say as usual because they did it last time too, uh, they actually give you a whole extra set of those uh, flexible pieces so that you can, in case you break one, they give you... I don't know if it's a whole extra set, but it's pretty many of them. Now, there are a few things that you should really know about this kit. The first one is there are two tools that they have you, they, they give you, other than the screwdriver to put the little screws in to mount the music box, uh, which, you know, a little tiny Phillips head screwdriver. I have no doubt that at some point I'll pull this out and use it again. The first one they give you is this. It's a nice tool just for pushing things together. If you remember last time, I was complaining a little bit that my thumbs were sore from pushing all those pieces together. This time I didn't have that issue, which was really nice. They also gave you a few extra shafts and some extra, there's little washers that hold the shafts in place. And they even gave some adhesive to wrap around these shafts for when you have a situation where the bead slides a little too far down. So they gave you some nice things with this. Uh, this is the tool that you need the most. They actually have you construct this, and I didn't realize that it was a tool at first. I thought it was going to be some kind of internal part or something, but no, it's actually a tool, and it's a good tool. What it is is they put three pieces together, and if you look at the holes here, you can see that there are numbers by each of the holes, each of these things. And if you look at the end, there are the corresponding holes that go with each of the numbers. And uh, why is this important? This is where I messed up with this kit in the beginning, okay? It is important because these numbers represent how far up the shaft the different gears go. If you put the if you use this tool properly, all your gears will line up, everything will move the way it's supposed to move. So again, this tool is really important. Make sure you use it. The first time I did it, I just kind of went willy-nilly on the one shaft and just pushed everything as far as it would go. And I got to the end and it was like, wait, there's a problem here. And then I realized this is not an internal part. This is a very handy tool. So make sure you use this. The problem for me was not a problem once again with the kit. It was the fact that I didn't read enough of the instructions because I thought I knew what I was doing. Read the instructions, look at the instructions and use this handy dandy tool. It comes in extremely handy. So, Again, the final piece. So you probably should see it work, right? It's a wind up, so you just reach under here and give it a good wind. And as you can probably see, all the planets move around. Plays the song Memory from Cats, which, you know, you may, not, may or may not be into that, but it's kind of a cool song for this particular piece. I think my son picked it up for two reasons. Number one, he knew I wanted to do mechanical something. And number two, he knew that my favorite painting of all time is called Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. So, anyway, really fun. I got this on to my table because, frankly, I was in a place this week where I was a little busy to do all the messing work of making painting details and I was ready to do detail painting on the B-17. I just didn't quite have time to dig into all that. 
So I thought I'll just sit down, put a couple of these pieces together while I'm sitting at the dinner table. And before long, I was so into it that I finished it. So anyway, there are times in our lives where we don't have time to do everything that we want to do. We don't have time to make the big mess. Maybe you're going on vacation or something like that. Something like this would really be fun for one of those rainy days when you can't get out or do whatever you're wanting to do. Just sit down and put one of these together. They're a blast. They're fairly inexpensive and they're really good. All right, that's all I got for you today. Remember, model building is supposed to be fun. This one was fun. If you're looking for something like this, pick it up.